Hi everybody. Welcome to my live. My name is Laura Roderick. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. Thank you for joining me. My voice is a little off. I have a little bit of a cold, tested negative, but I have a little bit of a cough, so I'm hoping that won't be a problem tonight. Um, thanks for joining me. I just got back from vacation, so I haven't been on in a couple weeks. We went to Hawaii and had a great time. Got to see family that lives there that I haven't seen in a while, so that was amazing, getting to see everybody. Um, we went with uh, Nicole and Brian and my granddaughter, Emmalyn, and she had the time of her life. That little 16-month-old is living her best life for sure. So it was really fun to enjoy all the family time and, of course, gorgeous Hawaii. And actually able to cool off a little bit because I know it's hot in a lot of parts of the country. And I'm telling you guys, it is hot here still. I think they said this morning, like, this is the 47th day over 100 this year so far. And that's really unusual. And it's been super hot. All right, well, I've got some fun cards tonight. We're gonna do a little Christmas in July, and um, that may seem a little crazy, but I'm gonna explain why we're doing that in just a second. Um, let me just check and see if I'm coming up live on Facebook. Okay, good, there I am. All right, good. Let me just make this bigger. Okay, terrific. Okay, all right, well, let me turn my camera down and let's get started on this week's cards. Okay, I think we're set up pretty good. So we're gonna be working out of the celebration catalog and this is the sale catalog um, that we're using from July and August. And what this is basically is a bunch of products you can earn free um, with a $50 or $100 purchase. So this little tree lot die set is so adorable and it's absolutely free. It's the only way you can get it is free with a $100 purchase from Stampin' Up. And so that's why I'm doing Christmas in July. I wanted to show you guys um, these tree lot dies before they're gone. Everything in here is well. Supplies last. Um, one of the items is sold out already, the pool party and seafoam um, cards and envelopes. So that's already gone. Um, but lots of fun products in here. So I'm trying to feature different products um, from this catalog for a couple of weeks just so you can kind of see what's in here. Um, two weeks ago, we did the hippos, um, stamps and dies. So that was really fun. And some other things are coming up. I think um, next week I'm going to be doing some cards with some free designer series paper. Let me see if I can find the one in here that we'll be using. It's going to be this Rings of Love designer series paper right here. And we'll do some cards with that next week. It's um, really beautiful prints, kind of for all seasons. So that's what we're working out of today. Now this also coordinates with the stamp set from the mini catalog and this is um, July through December and it's the um, trees for sale stamp set and it coordinates with those free dies. So we're going to be using both things this evening. Okay, so these are the things that we're going to be making this evening. Um, we have a little you light up the season with this little tree lot, which I think is really super fun. I wanted to show you an alternative that's not Christmas um, with this set. So we're going to make this card. And then we're also going to make this cute little Christmas card that also has the little camper, um, the little trailer thing. So that's going to be fun. So let's get started on our first card. Let me put these aside for a second. These cards, there's a lot of die cutting. Um, so these cards are going to take a minute tonight, but that's okay. That's why I've only done three instead of four this week. So here's the stamp set that I was showing you. And that is the Trees for Sale stamp set. And then here's the dies. And you have to look at the detail on these dies. There are so many dies. And some of them I've taken out because we're going to use as we go along. But just the, the detailed little tiny wreath, a little bow to go on the wreath, little banner flags, um, just all kinds of, of fun dies that we're gonna use tonight. Okay, so let's get out the pieces for our first card. I've done some of the die cutting already, but I still will go through and kind of show you um, what we're doing with this. Okay, so let me just get all my pieces organized. So our card base today is gonna be Garden Green, 
and it's our usual it's eight and a half by five and a half score to four and a quarter so i'm going to put that aside for now that's all ready to go i want to do a little stamping and embossing on our background first okay so it comes with this really cute snowflake stamp and that's this one right here and i'm going to stamp that on some balmy blue um cardstock and this is five and a quarter by four inches and I'm going to use the Versamark, and then we're going to emboss it, heat emboss it, so it kind of sticks out and is white on our background. So I'm just going to randomly stamp the snowflakes on here. And we're kind of making our own background here for our tree lots. And I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom. But pretty close. We're going to build our own snow drifts towards the bottom. Just with some free, free cutting. And let's add a little bit more up here. And I think that looks pretty good. I don't want to go crazy and overdo it. I think that's going to be good for now. Okay, so then I'm going to get my white embossing powder out. And I'm just going to pour the embossing powder over what we've just stamped. You can already see how pretty these are going to be. I'm try not to get it everywhere. And I think one or two more will be good. Okay, I'm just going to tap this off a little bit. I've got one that's a little bit smeared, as you can see. Um, I'm going to just see if I can find my brush here and brush a little bit. I've got a couple little extra pieces here and there that I just kind of want to brush off. I think that's pretty good. And then we're just going to use our heat tool. Made a little bit of a mess. Hold on, let me get rid of some of this powder. Okay. All right, time for the noisy part. Takes a minute for this to get heated up. It looked like it was frozen on my iPad, so I had to fix it really quickly so I could make sure I was still alive. Because this is such a big piece, it's taking a minute for it to get heated up and emboss all our little snowflakes. But we're almost there. Snow looks good right about now when it's so hot outside. I wouldn't mind seeing a couple snowflakes, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm just going back over them all just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's our background. And we are ready to go on to the next step. Now, the next thing we would be doing is doing some of the stamping. And let me show you how it works with these stamps. Okay, so basically I'm using the garden green color, and in the next card I'm going to show you how to do it in a different way with some different colors. But first I'm going to take um, my garden green stamp pad, and I'm going to stamp off the background of the trees. Now these are two-step stamps, so there's two steps to it. The first one is the solid one, and I'm just going to lightly stamp off and then stamp my background here like that. And let's do another one. So for all the cards that we're doing um, tonight, we need one, two, three, 
three uh, stamping three of the big ones and one two mediums and two small okay I'm not gonna stamp them all I'm just gonna show you how, kind of how we do it here then I'm gonna take this one which is like the branches part of it and not stamp off that one just give it the darker color and just go right over it isn't that pretty so I would just do the same thing for the rest of the trees um, there's three different sizes, so the medium, the small, and the large, and I would um, stamp all of my trees on here. I would also stamp on the white part um, this cute little string of lights, and that in memento black. So let me show you how that's going to look on, on um, the cardstock. Let me get my memento out. Cute. Isn't that adorable? I just love that little stamp. So I would do two of those for our lights. And then I'm going to take some of the real red and stamp our sentiment also on um, the piece of just basic white cardstock. And we're putting You Light Up the Season. Let me make sure that my stamp is straight on here. You can see I've already used it. It stained my stamp a little bit. And I'm going to just stamp that right here. And we're going to cut that out in a little bit. Okay, so once I did all my stamping on the white, the next thing I would do is do some stamping on the crumb cake. And what I would stamp on the crumb cake is the trees for sale. And I would, on the crumb cake, I'm going to do this in soft suede, which is the darker color. So three different things to stamp on that. Um, the trees for sale sign, which is just adorable, I think. So that gets stamped like that, and that'll also get cut out with the dies. And then they have these cute little tree stands. And so you would need three of these for this card. Just like that. And then the poles. Now you could just die cut the poles out, or you could stamp it. Same, same thing. So let me put this on the back of here and show you how that's gonna look stamped. So that'll just get stamped right on like that. Okay, and then we'll do the cutting out of that as well. Okay, so while we've got the stamps out, let's do the inside of the card as well. And on the inside of this card, I'm gonna use two of the um, <clears throat> little stands. And I'm just gonna do them right next to each other. And we're gonna put some trees on top of those. And then um, we're gonna do some trees inside. So I think I did a medium and a small tree on the inside of the card. So let me get my garden green out again. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will stamp off like we did before. And I'm gonna do the medium tree right here and then I will do the smaller tree right next to it. And this is the solid one again. We'll stamp off lightly and then put that one right there. And then we'll do the inside branches for both. Here's the medium. And then the little small one. Okay. Then also on the inside of the card, I did want to put a sentiment on the inside too. And I'm just putting Merry Christmas. Uh, let me see where that stamp is, right here. And we'll do that in real red. Red and green, traditional Christmas, right? And we'll put that right in the middle, right there. Okay, so that's it, really cute. That's gonna be the inside of our card. So we'll put that aside. Let me close up my stamps, because we're done stamping for now. And then let me just show you how I would cut these out. So I would just take these and line them up. Here's my mini stamp and cut machine. And you just take the dies. Here's the large die, so I can only do one at a time of the large dies. 
and just line it up right over the tree like that. And then send it through the machine. Super, super easy. And it saves you a lot of time. It cuts it out nicely for you. And you can see we have a perfect little Christmas tree, right? All right, so I've sent everything through. I've pre-die cut it because it would take us a little time on here to show you how all of them are. And let me show you what I've got. So I've got two of the light strengths. Now in the original card, I did red, green, red, green because I wanted it to look really Christmassy on the card. This one, I thought, well, let's try it with just yellow because a lot of those kind of um, string lights are just yellow that hang up over there. So maybe I think this card will try with the yellow. And then I've also cut out all the other pieces. So the two large, the medium tree, I have a small tree, um, my two poles, my trees for sale sign, and my little stands. And then I just have this piece of white that I was gonna cut out the sentiment, but we've already um, put that on a different piece of paper. So we are all good on that. Okay, so let's start assembling our card. We're gonna take our background and I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back and we're just gonna center this. Just like that, right in the middle. Then I just took a pair of scissors and just pretty much cut some snow drifts out. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, just however you want it. Maybe make one side higher than the other. And I'm just gonna flip around my piece of paper and do this one a little bit higher. And put this in the background right there. And then we'll just glue those down. We've got some pretty high snow drifts going. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take that down a little because let's just pretend like it didn't snow that much. And then I think we're pretty good for the bottom like this. Okay. That's going to line up just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down with some seal. Right like that. And our second border right over. Okay, now our background is complete. We've got everything we need for that. The next thing we wanna do is take our two little poles and we're gonna glue those down. And for that, I'm gonna take some of that little glue pen that I like so much. And I'm just gonna put some adhesive on this. You could use the regular um, liquid glue. That works fine too. It's just a matter of preference. And I wanna put these kind of off to the side a bit and pretty high up there. So there's one. And put the other one kind of even over here. And I'm gonna try and place it. You can see that little smudge I had on the snowflake. So I kind of want to place it over that so it's not as obvious. And I just got a green smudge at the top, but that's gonna be covered up too by our sentiment. So we will be fine with that. I guess I got some green ink on my fingers. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and put our lights. And like I said, um, I just used a regular Stampin' Write um, Daffodil Delight marker to color in the little light parts on here. So we're ready to glue those down as well. And I think I will use the regular glue for this. So I'm just gonna add a few dots where the lights are and maybe at the end of these. And then we'll just place these on, kinda to the side like that. Okay, there's one. You can see I still have green all over my fingers. I don't know how I did that. So as you can see on these cards, there's a lot of die cutting and then a lot of assembly and gluing. 
but I think it's super fun. I think all these little pieces are really cute. Um, and I think it makes for a really fun card. Oops. Okay, I'm not good with ink or glue, so that's great. Okay, and we've got that going. I think we're ready to start putting our trees on now. Okay, so we've got a couple of large ones, and I think we're going to put all these on with dimensionals. So I'll just pop a couple onto each one. We've got our two large and our medium. I don't know where my small one went. Maybe it's still in the envelope. Let me take a peek real quick. And we also have our tree stands. We'll put those on in a second. So I'm gonna put one of my trees, my big trees right about here. And then I'll put another big tree next to it. Kind of a little bit more down in front. Okay, I'm gonna put these aside because we're not gonna use these colored ones on this card. And we'll put our medium one in back. About here. And then we just have the little one left. I hope everybody's having a good summer. Has everybody been doing a little bit of vacationing, enjoying the summer, getting outside even though it's hot everywhere? Okay, now we're gonna just glue down our little stands. So I'm gonna flip these over and we'll put a little bit of glue on the back of each of these. And I'm just gonna tuck those underneath the trees that we put down. So we've got one right here. And we'll put one underneath here. Hold that all the way under. Come on. Let me get my tool to kind of slide that in a little bit. Good. And then I'll put this one right about here. The other one I'm not gonna put underneath the tree because we're gonna have the sign there. You're not gonna be able to see it anyway. So let's pop up our sign. A couple of dimensionals here. And we'll put that right about there. And that looks pretty good. Do you guys like it better with the um, yellow lights or with the green and red lights? I think I actually think I like the, the red and green lights a little bit better. Okay, so now the sentiment. We've already stamped it on our piece of basic white cardstock. And now what I did is I just kind of cut around the edges now, you don't have to do that. You could just do it straight. You can make a little banner of it. I just decided to cut it this way. And I'm just kind of going around. It just takes a minute to cut it out. Um, just kind of free form. I guess for the video, I could have done a banner so we could have compared that too and see which looks better, the cutout or the banner. That might have been fun to try and figure out. Sometimes you go back to your cards later and you're like, no, let me try it this way. I didn't really like the way that looks or that's not really working or I don't like the color. And so a lot of times I'm changing these cards a lot before I get to my final product. Okay, so that's going to go right up here. And let me get some mini dimensionals for that. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of strategic placement for trying to cover up that big green splotch that I have on there. But we will make it work, even if it's a little bit off the page. I think it'll be fine. 
Aren't these little mini dimensionals handy? They're so cute, they're so little, they're the perfect size when you just you have little things that you need to stick on. And I feel like they last forever. I think I'm on my second sheet that I've used ever, ever. So, all right. I'm gonna put this just a little bit right here just because of the placement over the green. Okay, we're ready to put um, our inside of the card on. And then I have my first Christmas card of the season all ready to go. So there's the inside, there's the outside. Um, I think it's cute. I think I definitely like the red and green better than the yellow. What do you guys think? It just adds a little bit more color, makes it a little more Christmas festive. Um, the other thing you can do is add a little bit of Winka Stella on the lights just to give it that extra little glittery sparkle and it's just kind of a little bit of a glitter pen. Or if you wanted to, you could put little rhinestones where the lights are and make those, make it sparkle that way too. Okay. All right, card number one finished. That took a minute, right, with all the die cutting? All right, so the next card we're gonna do is gonna be this one right here. And I kinda wanted to do something that wasn't Christmas, but kinda use this camper, so I did this little card here. It says the best is yet to come. And I thought, well, this would be a good one for someone if they're going on vacation, or if you know someone who needs, who's retiring and needs a retirement card, I think this would be a really cute retirement card. Um, so let's get started on this one. Um, what I've added to this set is we did a little bit of a mountain background, and the set I used for this is the Mountain Air, and it's got these trees, which I didn't use the trees or the clouds or the birds or anything, but I did use the mountains. And then it also has um, the mountain dye. So I'll show you how that's going to work for us. Okay. Um, and then the sentiment I took from the Celebrating You set. And I took the best is yet to come. So this is a nice set to have. This is in the annual catalog. And you can see it has a lot of really, a wide variety of sentiments that you could use throughout the year. Okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna get out our little pieces and we'll be all ready to start on this card. Now we're using a little bit of a different technique today for the background. I wanna do a little bit of a sunsetty background in there and I'll show you how I did that. So let me get out all my little pieces and there's a lot of pieces again in this one. Did a lot of die cutting, so that's fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So this, I've used the basic gray cardstock, same dimensions as the first one, eight and a half, five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So I'll put that aside. This sheet is gonna go on the front and this is what we're gonna go ahead and do our um, sunset. And to do that, we're going to use, let me take my piece of scrap paper and turn it inside out. We're gonna use some of our um, stamping pads, and we're going to use um, some of these great uh, blending brushes to get that on there. So we're going to start with this yellow one. This is a Stampin' Up blending brush. It's got a nice wide head, really fun to use. So I'm going to start with Daffodil Delight, which is a pretty light yellow, and we're going to start with that one. And all I'm going to do is kind of um, dab it onto my stamp pad, and then brush it off a little on my paper first. See how it leaves kind of a, a dark dot at first? And then I'm just gonna lightly start going over the area that I want my sunset, right? So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth with the Daffodil Delight, the yellow. Make sure I'm going down far enough. And I think we'll add a little bit more color. Doesn't have to be perfect. The sky isn't perfect, so um, the variation in the color is absolutely fine. So I've started with the daffodil. And then the next um, layer I'm going to do is mango melody. So I'm going to add a little bit of orange to it. Let me just do a little bit more right down here. A little bit more intense of the yellow color. Easy breezy. Now I don't have um, a Stampin' Up blender brush for all the colors that I have right now. 
I did place an order that's supposed to come tomorrow for some more of the um, blending brushes, but it's not here yet. So I have this little one that I had gotten off of Amazon. So that's what I'm using for my Mango Melody. And I'm gonna do my next layer of Mango Melody up here and kind of blend it into the yellow. As you can see, this one doesn't work quite as nicely as the Stampin' Up! ones, but hopefully when my order comes tomorrow, I'll have a few more of these. I don't use them that often, but they're handy to have. Okay, and I'm gonna go just one more time with the orange, just a little bit higher. And then I'm gonna end up with the purple, which is kind of the fresh freesia. Now it looks kind of messy, doesn't look great, but once we part, start putting everything over it, I think it's gonna look really fine. Okay, the next color is this fresh freesia, and that's kind of a light purple, and we're gonna end this at the top. think you know what I'm not liking that and I'm not sure that's what I ended up using let me see give me one second to look at my colors I'm gonna take a little bit more of a pink I'm gonna use some melon mambo and let me try let's see if that's a little bit better that's pretty dark but I think it's a little more pinkish for the sky than the purple Okay, I think that's good enough. I think I'm happy with that. We've got some nice colors going, for, I think, for a sunset. So I'm just going to stop right there and call it a day for that. Okay, so more stamping, right? Let me show you how to do the mountain. So we've got this great mountain air stamp, and this is just the like a little mountain range there. And I'm going to stamp that in basic gray. And I'm stamping it onto a piece of smoky slate cardstock. So I'm just gonna ink it up and stamp it like that. And that comes out really pretty. Don't you think that looks nice? And then the next thing I am gonna do or would do is take the die and line it up like that and just run it through my machine. Now I've already done that ahead of time so I do have my little mountain range that we're going to use right here. So that's going to be fine like that. Okay, now the other way we did the trees this time was I just die cut them all, okay? So I die cut the background, which is the bigger um, part of the tree out of Mossy Meadow. So I went through and did these. I did a medium, a large, and a small tree for each of them. So I cut three of these out of mossy meadow okay and that's the background part and then i used evening evergreen and did the other part you can see how intricate it is with um the branches and then i die cut three of these one of each size in the evening evergreen to go over so now we've got kind of a two-tone tree going and you can see how these are going to line up here and i think those look really nice okay Okay, so the next thing is die cutting the rest of our pieces. And let me show you what I die cut. So I took the camper die and I die cut out of basic gray the camper. And then there's some pieces. Let me pull this die right here. I did with the silver foil, the silver foil cardstock. And that gave me these pieces right here um, for the camper. Okay, so that's what I die cut with that. And then what I did was I took this one again. Let me pull it out so I can show you. I did it in basic gray, but then I wanted a couple of little accents with the silver. So I just took my little silver paper um, and just put a piece down and die cut. Just I just put it under some little pieces under here and under the wheel and die cut this through again. So I ended up with these little silver pieces and this little silver thing, because I wanted a silver hubcap. I know that's picky, but 
I wanted to have that nice detail on there. I also stamped the little dog stamp, which is really cute. And I stamped that in the same colors as we used before. Crumb cake, I did the um, soft suede on the crumb cake to do our little dog. And then I just used, you can see these little tree stumps or tree, what would you call them? Not stumps, um, trunks out of the soft suede cardstock. So I have three of these little pieces that we're gonna use for the bottom of our trees. So that's all our pieces, and I think we're ready to start assembling this card. Um, I also have um, a little piece that we're going to use for the background of the window of the camper, and then another one that we're gonna do our sentiment on. Okay, so we might as well stamp our sentiment right now. And then I think we're going to be ready to start putting this card together. Lots of, lots of fun pieces. Okay, here's that stamp. The best is yet to come. Let me see if I can get this centered on here. A little bit to the left. Okay, that's not perfectly straight. It's pretty good. Let me flip it over and see if I can get a better one. Mm, I like that one better. Okay, I'm gonna take my little banner punch and just make this into a banner. Just punch off the end right like that. Okay, so now I think we have all our pieces ready. Let's start a little bit of assembly and let's assemble the camper first. So like I said, on the background, we're gonna use a little piece of this So Saffron and let me cut off the rest of this right here so it fits well, um, kind of as the background of our windows. And let's just use some regular glue for that just to kind of go around the edges of the windows. Okay, that looks good for that. Okay, now we need to glue on our silver pieces. So this one's gonna go right here. I love the silver accents. I think they're really pretty. So I kind of Googled to see, so these little camper type things, like what colors did they come in? And you know, what's like the official color for it? And it looks like when I was looking on Google, they came in all kinds of colors, so you could use any color you want for this. All right, this piece goes on the top. And I just left it plain. I didn't add any curtains or anything. There's a little die. You could add some curtains on here if you wanted to. I didn't bother to do that. I'm going to take this little other piece that I cut out of silver and just cut off the end here. And then we'll glue that piece on right here. And you could just leave this. You don't have to do that part if you don't want to. I just think it's a nice detail and looks really good. So that piece is there. And then for the hub cap, I'm going to just actually just cut out the little silver middle part right here. Again, you don't have to do that detail if you don't want to. Um, just takes a second to do it though and it requires just this teeny tiny little scrap of silver. All right, my cutting skills are not the greatest, especially with something that tiny. But I think that's it. We're gonna just glue this right here in the middle. Okay, now we've got our little hubcap. All right, <coughs> excuse me. Now, I've got just a regular black Stampin' Write marker, and I'm just gonna color the rest of the wheel so that the wheel is black. So I'm just gonna color this part in with my black marker. You could use any black marker you have. And now I've got a black tire. 
So that looks a little bit more authentic. And then I'm gonna take the fine end and I'm gonna just put a little eye and a little nose on the puppy. Okay, so let's start with our background and adhere it to our card. And I think, let's pop this up so it's standing up off of our card. So I'll use a bunch of dimensionals to put this up. Okay. Just like that. Then we're going to put, um, this is just a piece of um, crumb cake cardstock for the bottom. And let me see if I can see what size this is. It is five and a quarter by two inches. And so we're gonna attach that with some seal. Across the bottom. Okay, our sunset's pretty vibrant, right? It's pretty yellow in the background. Let's put our mountain range on next and we'll use some seal for that as well. Got to figure out how much of the, and I can go a little bit further down. I know it looks funny because there's a corner here, but there's going to be a tree over it, so that's okay. The trees are gonna kind of cover it. So I think right about there is where I want my mountains. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put my trees together next. So let me get out my scrap for my glue. And I'm going back to my glue pen for this because they're very intricate dies, die cuts. Um, so it's easy for me to get the glue on this way. The other thing you could do is, um, before you die cut it, attach the sticker sheet to the back. And that way all you have to do is just peel and stick, which is easy as well, right? I never think I had to do that. Someday I'm gonna get in the habit of doing that. And that'll be great. Because it's very easy to do. And then you're not dealing with the messy glue, right? Okay, anybody hear that dog in the background? That is not our dog, that is the next door neighbor's dog outside. Having a puppy fit. Okay, so what do you like better? The trees with the die cuts or the trees with the stamps and none die cut? Two different ways to do it, I love the stamping up gives you choices like that, right? When they sell you the kits, I think that's terrific. Okay, so let's see, did I put these up on dimensionals? I think the the two big ones I did not, I just used a little bit of seal. So we'll put our two big ones up first. Big one over here, and I'm having it come up just a little bit off the card because I think it looks nice that way. And then the medium one right up here. Cover that gap with the mountain. And then I will use a dimensional to stick up this small one. And we'll put that one right about here. We use a dimensional for our little puppy guy. Actually, let me use a a mini because he's kind of small. Get the backing off of here. And he can look like he's kind of jumping up a little bit. He looks excited about this trip. Then we'll pop up the camper. And we'll put that right about here. Okay, now we've got to use a little bit of glue on our tree trunks. And so let me just, I'm gonna go back to the Tombow glue 
just put a couple dots between each one and it's three different sizes so we'll use the fat one for the big tree and then whoops I did not want to glue that to the back of my card we we'll use this one right here lift and tuck and then the little skinny one for the little tree then the only thing we have left to do is put on our sentiment, which we've already done. Put this one right here, that looks pretty good. Wipe off that glue, and we'll pop up the sentiment. And this is the good side, this is the not so good side. All right, let's tuck this right here. Maybe I made that tree a little bit too high, huh? Okay, that's it. We are finished with that card. What do you think? Do you like it? Anybody like to camp? This is a cute little camping card, right? Um, just another way to use this die set too that's not Christmas. All right, so for our last card, we're going back to Christmas. Christmas in July. This one is a really easy card to do. It shouldn't take us that long. I'm going to pull out the pieces. Again, did a lot of die cutting and stamping because it's a very detailed die set. But we're going to start with real red, nice Christmas color, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter. It's going to go this way. This designer series paper is a carryover from last year. We had it last year, we have it this year. And let me just show you this paper because I think it's a really fun set. And it is the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. And I still have a lot of it left from last year. And it's just got some really fun patterns in here that I'll show you. On both sides there's patterns. So it's kind of, you know, kind of a nice basic Christmas background paper. Little pine cones, berries fun so this is a really good paper set to have and I like this little print for this card so I've taken um, a piece of that designer series paper and cut it down to five and a quarter by four inches and then I've taken um, the um, die cut this out of the white and this is let me see if I have that handy to show you give me one second here I don't think I pulled that one out This is one of my favorite sets, and you guys know I use this one practically every week. This is the Scalloped Contours dies, and I just cut out from the white with the die just like that. Okay, so that's going to make a nice panel on our card. Okay, so what we can do, I want to stamp my greeting right on here. So let's do that first, and we're going to do that in real red. I want to make sure I do everything in the right order because I've got some layers going. And we're going to do Christmas greetings. And because this is a little bit off my stamp, let me try stamping it here first to see if it stamps okay. It looks like it stamps fine. All right. So I'm going to stamp that kind of at the top right here. Okay, that came out fine. Okay, so the next step then, before we layer up the pieces to our card, is gonna be to put the ribbon on, okay? So let's attach this in the middle of our DSP with some seal. And then I wanna tie the ribbon around here before I put it on the next layer. So this is some real red linen ribbon. This is a carryover from last year. Now, um, there's a new, there's new ribbon in the catalog this year, and it's a red and green ribbon. And let me see if I can find it for you real quick. I don't have it yet. So real red and garden green ribbon combo pack. So that looks like a really nice ribbon. I think this red ribbon that I'm using is super close to that. I just don't have the new ribbon yet. So use any red ribbon that you have, any red ribbon that you like. 
um, as soon as I get the new ribbon, I'm going to start using that ribbon for this year. So I'm just going to line this up and tie a bow. This is a nice flat ribbon and it ties really nicely. I really like it. So I hope the new red ribbon is, it could be the same ribbon, I'm not sure, as last year. Or I think it's gonna be really similar. Okay. So I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. And I think I'm actually gonna even secure it with a little bit of a glue dot um, so it doesn't float around on my paper. So I'm just gonna lift one of our glue dots here. Stick it under right there. Keep it from floating around the page. I'm gonna clip my edges. Okay, now we can go ahead and pop that up onto our red background. I can't even, I mean, I love these dies and this die set and I love the Christmas cards, but to think about Christmas right now, oh my gosh, no. But if you're gonna make your own Christmas cards, now is the time to start because it takes a long time and as we get closer to Christmas, everybody gets really busy with everything that you, else that you have to do around Christmas. So it's a good time to start Christmas cards at least. Okay, so that looks pretty good. That's our background for our card. So what, we've, what I've done also then is cut out a lot of the same pieces that we did before. So we've already stamped and die cut the trees. I did a large and a medium tree. I did the camper in red this time. And let's go ahead and attach all our pieces to the camper um, like we did before. So we're just gonna glue the same pieces in the same places. And I used the silver foil again. So this time we have a silver and red camper, which I think looks super nice and Christmassy. So this piece is gonna go on the bottom there. Cute, right? It's pretty festive. Okay, now we're gonna add a couple other things. So we've got this little green wreath that I just cut out of garden green cardstock. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and we'll put that right around the window on the door. Now we've made it festive and Christmassy. And I cut out the little bow with the bow die out of real red. So we'll add a little bit of glue to that. And we'll put that at the bottom of our wreath. And then I used the little banner die and cut out a little banner out of the garden green too. So we'll add the banner. It's a very festive camper, don't you think? And we'll put that right across the edge like that. Now this time, instead of the yellow behind, let me just press on this for a second so it sticks. Instead of the yellow behind the windows, I've got a little piece of vellum that we're gonna put behind. Let's see if this needs to be cut down a little bit, and it does. Let's see, maybe just a little bit more on this side. Gonna add a little bit of glue around the windows again. And add the piece of vellum for the windows. Now we have a white background, so I don't even know if you can notice the vellum or if you even need to, to put it there. But that's what we've got is the vellum behind there. And our little camper is almost finished. I just wanna add those other two little silver accents again like we did before. and try and cut another hubcap. <clears throat> this probably isn't necessary, right? The little silver, but I think it adds just a little something. I love gold and silver accents on things. 
Okay. Let's see if that's somewhat round. It's hard to see sometimes with the light, the way the light shines. Okay. Last couple pieces. So now you can see why we only did three cards tonight, right? This is taking a little bit of time with all these little pieces. Okay. That. And this little piece right here. I have to use the tools because my nails kind of get in the way a little bit. But I got to tell you, this take your pick tool is one of my favorite things to use. It's just super handy. I use it all the time for things. Okay, let's bring our card back and let's start putting our card together. So we'll put some seal on the back of this Christmas tree. And we went back to the stamp trees that we stamped and then die cut. So that one can go right there. The next one I'm going to pop up. And I just put two of them this time. We'll put this one kind of right in front of the other one. Then we can put some, put our camper down. Try and put my dimensionals so they're not in the window. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't want them to show through the vellum. And this is our cute little Christmas camper we'll put right here. And I also forgot that I want to color the wheel on this. So let's see if I can do that without messing anything up. Okay. And we have our little pieces again, our tree trunks. So I've got the large and the medium. Now also in that very same die set, there's also some little stars that you can cut out for the trees, which is awesome. So I did do a couple of the silver stars to put on the top of the tree. Okay, hold on. Get this in the middle. Kind of like to have it a little bit under the tree. So let me see if I can lift this up just a little bit to tuck it under. Good. And then this last one here. So we've got our cute little tree trunks to make our trees complete. Okay. Then we're going to put a couple of those silver stars at the top of our trees. So we'll put one here. sure that's straight. Nobody likes a crooked star, right? And there's our second star. Now the last thing we're going to do for this card is add some rhinestones, little Christmas ornaments. And I just did it on one tree, the big tree. And these are our red rhinestone basic jewels. So I'm just going to pull some of these out and just place them kind of randomly on the tree as ornaments and to add a little sparkle to our card. And that's it. We have a nice cute little Christmas card. Um, you could put, because it's the darker cardstock, you could put on the inside um, a piece of the white and decorate it or stamp the trees again. Um, anything that you want, put a Christmas greeting, do some writing in there. Um, whatever you would like to do. Okay, so let me tell you about a, a, um, a few quick things. Let me again show you the cards that we made today. So we made the You Light Up the Season card. We made the Best is Yet to Come cards. And then we made our Christmas greeting cards. If you would like the make and take projects for these, um, you just have to place an order 
of $35 or more with me by Saturday, and I will send you the make and takes for the cards for free. This is the host code that you would use, the 4M7R26NU, and then I would send you, um, just as a, a little bonus, the um, make and takes for these. I cannot include, do I don't do any stamping. We're not allowed to do that at Stamping Up. Um, but I would send you the rhinestones and the ribbon and all the, the pieces of the cards to make. Um, we've got a couple quick promotions I want to tell you about, and then I want to show you the cards that I have for next week. Um, so if you would like the project and measurement sheet, I just have um, pictures of the cards. It tells you all of the products that were used and the measurements that I used. Um, just email me, and that would be at... Um, uh, sunshine and sparkle stamping at gmail.com and I'll be happy to send that to you through the email so you can print that and have it um, and the other thing I just want to talk about tonight is paper pumpkin I got my paper pumpkin kit I think it was last week I think last Tuesday and this is the kit that we had that had um, all the seashells and stuff in it so these are some of the cards um, that I made just following their instructions to use from this paper pumpkin and I thought this was a really fun set. They had given you the Bermuda Bay Stampin' Spot. This is a good way to get colors. Um, your first kit of Piper Pumpkin that you order, they also give you a Stampin' Block. And I thought these were really fun um, stamps this time. I love the little ship in a bottle. That is super fun. Look at this teeny tiny cute little seahorse. Adorable. It comes with enough stuff to make nine cards. It comes with instructions, all the punch outs glue dots, linen thread, stampin' dimensionals, cards, envelopes, pretty much everything you need. All the um, cards this time, these little backgrounds, are all embossed. I don't know if you can see the embossing on there. Very fancy, very special, a lot of fun. The paper pumpkin, I always look forward to getting it. I love to save these little stampin' spots. They're good for if you go on vacation or something, you don't want to bring your big stamp pads with. So, this next month's Paper Pumpkin is Sweet Sunflowers Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, you would have to order this by August 10th. Um, here's the link to order the Paper Pumpkin Kit. And I kind of showed you everything that it comes with. A couple bonuses for next month um, Paper Pumpkin with the Sunflowers is you get two Stampin' Spots, so two little ink pads instead of just one. And there's going to be eight foil honeycomb sheets um, with this too. So that's, I think this is just going to be a really fun kit. If you like sunflowers, gosh, what a great kit. It's got some little bees. This is going to be a fun kit. I can't wait to get it. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Oh, let me show you what we've got coming up next week. So as promised, I was telling you about the papers that we have um, in the celebration catalog. So we're just going to play with some of the papers that you could get for free. We're going to make this cute little thank you gatefold card with the little bird paper. Um, just a card to say that you're amazing. We might make this into a birthday card. We'll see. We use some of the fall paper. And remember the squirrel kit from last year? That carried over into this year's catalog. So we have a little nuts about you um, fall card that we'll make next week. And then one of the papers has the little houses on it. So do you know anybody that's um, just got a new house, um, is moving. Um, I think this is a really fun card for that. So these are the four cards that we're going to make next week. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody has a great week and is having a great summer. And um, I'll talk to you next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.